It's a new life for me, yeah. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Moedo Folk. Checking in from uh, Colorado. Loveland, Colorado to be quite and exact. Um, coming out here to get this truck in order. I'm actually doing my first repower. Or I should say getting my first trailer repowered. I'm over there in the cut. Chip out here too about to do what he do, but I guess you don't want to see that either. Well, maybe you do. Too bad. Um, come on, bro. Stop smelling everything, man. Do what you're going to do. Let's ride. Uh, yeah, I'm doing my first repower. Um, I don't know if every company calls it the same thing. But um, with the company that I'm with, a repower is basically uh, when someone has to come and relieve or get your trailer to make an on-time delivery. Or even if you just had to get off a load for whatever reason and someone took it over for you. Um, that's generally called a repower. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to have one uh, repowered, I should say, from me. I've, I've gotten a load from another driver before, maybe once or twice to think about it. No, I think I've actually done it once and was asked to do it another time, but uh, I didn't want to. So that was that. Chippy, come on, bro. Instead of just doing what he gonna do, you gotta sniff and smell everything, man. He's he, he got he got smellitis, <laughs> for real. But um, yeah, like I said, I, I didn't want to do it. So um, and running team, you know, we we flip flop hours back and forth uh, between my wife and I. So it's nothing that we really have to do ourselves. It's not too many loads that we can't get to where they need to be on time. You know, unless we just had some serious issues. So, but it's all good. Um, I'm, I'm solo at the very moment. You know, we're doing some things different, you know, throughout the summer when it comes to the kids. So I got uh, my youngest daughter on the truck with me. Well, she's actually in the hotel right now, sleeping still, but um, got her on the road with me. Uh, Divine's back in Virginia, getting some things switched, situated and squared away with our other daughters. They got a few different things going on. So we just needed a, a, a little break. Um, out of the truck to get some things done in two different places. So that's really what that's all about. No more, no less. But um, yeah, I'm out here in Colorado. I ran a load or a few loads. I actually had a good stack on me that I was kind of honestly disappointed that, that I couldn't get it off. This load I'm on right now was actually going to Oregon, right outside of Portland. So. Um, I made it here to Colorado, Loveland. I actually brought a load from uh, Virginia, Suffolk, Virginia, up to, excuse me, up to, um, where did I go? Amsterdam, New York, upstate New York. Then over to another part of upstate New York. I really can't remember. I think it started with an E, but I really can't remember. Um, then from there over to uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Then I picked up in Fort Wayne, Indiana and brought that load, well, which is this load that's supposed to make it to Portland, Oregon. But, you know, just running on the clock, 7 to o'clock, and I try to spread my days out and my hours out to not exhaust myself on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to stretch it to make my 70 work. but. If anybody know that type of distance and the type of time it takes to run that length of, 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 of load, it ain't work. So um, I'm doing a repower. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever had to do a repower myself. Normally I get any and everything that I got on me, off me. But it's all good, you know, it, it, it happens. Definitely in the, in the solo game. And like I said, I had a, uh, one, two. Those three loads stacked up on me that brought me from the East Coast that was supposed to go all the way west. So, you know, just the days and time and hours that it takes to make a trip across country 
when you call yourself bouncing around upstate New York and some of the traffic that comes with that, you can eat up a lot of clocks. So that's kind of what I did, but I made it um, this far. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not completely pissed off about it. I did want the whole load just because I want the whole load. And I definitely wanted my daughter to see some West Coast stuff and definitely to see Oregon because I think it's a beautiful place. So I definitely wanted her to see that. Let me stay in this light. I definitely wanted her to see that. But it's all good. We'll, I'm sure we'll grab something from here that's going to probably take us uh, west. Now maybe I'll even request it because I do have that option to kind of you know, request where I want to be and when I want to go there. So. It's all good. It is what it is. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not going to trip off of it. So, yeah, I'm out here right now at the truck. Just about to probably put myself in a better position to swap out with this driver. They should be coming here shortly. Called me not too long ago. Told me about an hour. So that might have been roughly 40 minutes ago. So to keep, you know, to make this process speedy and to keep him from having to do a lot of waiting around on me, I wanted to go ahead and get out of here. Get out here. Uh, just so I can, you know, uh, speed up this process so he ain't got to wait on me. So I'll probably get the truck started here in a second. I'll probably either move it out to the street over here, over here, just to get it on that flat concrete, go ahead, disconnect from it, maybe stay under it, but definitely get my uh, landing gear dropped. You know, just have it set up so he can pull in disconnect from the empty that he has I can separate completely from this you know we can swap that out and he can be on his way um, I haven't decided or not whether I'm gonna uh, attempt to stay here another day or another night at this particular hotel um, I get my clock back I'll get time back tonight probably around 3 a.m. my 70 will be complete as well as I would get nine hours or so back tonight at like midnight if I was to just choose to go off of uh, recaps which a couple hours is not enough time for me to really be worrying about dealing with a recap I'd rather just give me a fresh 70 and keep it moving that way so I'll probably just do that yeah man I'm out here in Colorado I don't know how well you can see a few mountains back there in the cut real real far in the distance not nothing super grand, but nice enough. That's uh, I-25 right there behind me. So I'm, I'm a little bit between uh, Jonestown and uh, Fort Collins, Fort Collins, Colorado. So I'm, I'm, I'm right here on the main beat. So whether I gotta shoot down to the Swift Terminal in Denver to grab something from there or just get dispatched something up this way I'm sure I'm, I'm still in a good place to, to, to get some solid loads. So for the fresh 70 o'clock, and I still got today, tomorrow, and Wednesday to add to this week's check. So even though I didn't get to get this whole uh, 22, whatever miles it was to get to Oregon, um, I should still be able to do pretty good this week. If you add up what I've already ran prior, along with you know what I was able to make making it this far. So. I ain't really tripping. This is really my first week out. So we're gonna be out here as far as me and my daughter goes um, for the rest of uh, August, or a good amount of August, get her back to start school in the beginning of September. So it is what it is, man. But yeah, I just wanna check in. Like I said, I wanna get uh, back on track with, with, the, with the videos. Uh, me and Divine and just have both agree, you know, that we're gonna definitely get back in gear a lot of people have been asking and where, you, where we've been and what we've been up to or I guess thinking whatever their own thoughts are but it's all good you know I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a truck driver team truck driver and I happen to team with my wife so you know there's going to be various things that come along with that but don't get it twisted you know we all it is what it is we all who we are we are gonna get it back right for those of you who haven't seen the fact that I cut my hair a few weeks ago, the locks are gone. So I got that video up right now. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. But yeah, man. Chip's still in the building. 
He's a little bigger than he was probably last time y'all seen him. But it's all good. So, uh, yeah, man, it's your boy checking in. Mo 804. Checking in from Loveland, Colorado. And uh, holla at y'all on the next one. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Thousand bank rolls, yeah, I made myself a boss. Had to learn from my mistakes, yeah, I had to take a loss. They say it cost to be the boss, don't make us nail it to the cross. When that back touch down, we gon' call it Randy Moss. When that back touch down, we gon' call it Randy Moss. When